While I do write with a Lamy All-Star, I mostly use fountain pens to draw. I have a Lamy Safaris in the fine and extra fine nibs and a Platinum Cool and Plazier both in extra fine. Is there anything else you would recommend in the under $100 range? Though please not Ahab Flex as I tried it and just can't get it to work right. Gave it to a fellow artist who loves them. Yeah, the Ahab was actually the first pen that I was going to recommend to you. The Ahab is a love it or hate it kind of pen. And honestly, you know, for the artists who I have heard from that are able to, you know, work with the pens, uh, they absolutely love them. Um, so if you aren't able to work with it, you know, maybe you got a bad one, maybe, or, but if you've got somebody else that loves it, I don't know, it's, it's, it's definitely a pen that takes a little bit of getting used to. So if it's just not your style, that's totally cool, I understand that. Um, but that would be the first one I would recommend. Some other ones I would recommend trying, this would be very low cost to do, would be to get some of the Lamy Italic nibs, maybe a 1.1, 1.5, even a 1.9. You can still get that line variation with the Italic nibs because it's gonna be flatter, so you can uh, get thin on the cross stroke and broad on the down stroke. So that way you can kind of vary up your lines a little bit and you've already got some safaris So all you got to do is get the italic nib You can throw it on your safari and it'll be a really kind of cheap way to vary up your line a little bit um, Also something that you may want to consider is a platinum desk pen now It doesn't have any flex to it, but it's a really inexpensive pen and it has a very fine nib It's got a Japanese extra fine nib on there and the pen is I think $12 or something very very cheap so, um, and you can also use uh, platinum carbon black in that ink. In fact, that's kind of what that pen is designed for. It even comes with a carbon black cartridge that you can use uh, for that pen. And I know that artists love that ink because you can wash over it, you can erase over it and stuff like that. So that would definitely be a pen that I would check out too. Beyond that, there's really not a lot of other flex pens. I mean, you've got the Cool already, the Platinum Cool. That's a great pen uh, in, a, in that price range with some decent flex to it. Beyond that, you're gonna look at something like the Namiki Falcon or something. That's gonna put you up in the 140, 140 range, um, and that might be a little much, but hopefully that gives you something to go off of there. 